all right everybody welcome back this is the yard of the day As you can see it is a big one it's about an acre acre and a half something like that hard to tell because it's a triangle wedge shaped uh, lot but it's mostly bahia as you can see from those seed whips somewhere and uh, but it also has a variety of different grasses in there including that horrible weed grass you see over there that stuff right there we haven't quite been able to identify that yet but uh, I'll explain that more when I walk over there but this is going to be a fun day because I have got brand new blades and I'll show you them right here I've got the genuine Skag Marbane blades and uh, you can see they're a straight up blade, not a mulching blade designed to get the grass in, get it cut and get it out of the deck really fast. Let me swing this around the uh, represented by the MB number there Marbane and it's basically just a really hard type of steel that um, um, lasts longer, stays sharper longer but uh, them being genuine Skag blades, they're designed specifically for this deck and I have had them before as I have explained before and man they really cut well now the reason why I put these on there is because the Great Dane's coming back soon. And the Great Dane is going to be doing all of the uh, nicer yards up in the front of the neighborhood. And the cheetah here is going to be doing nothing but big fields, cow pastures, and giant acreage properties like this. And it really doesn't call for a mulching blade. It calls for a get it cut as fast as you can blade. And so that's why I did that. So, uh, by the way, Great Dane is in the shop getting a governor. And they called it, said it's ready, so I'll be getting it soon. And so the next vlog will probably be with Great Dane. Um, anyway, let me walk over there so I can show you this grass. Okay, here we are. Let me get a close-up shot of this stuff. Now this stuff, no matter what you do, will not cut clean you'll see I've got you know I've just proven that I have literally brand new blades and I will show close up afterwards showing that I'm not getting a clean cut because this stuff you um, mow this you got to mow it all one direction so you mow a row if you're doing a big square you kind of just stay to the outside of the square and mow out but um, in this situation I mow one direction then I come back and then I mow one direction and I come back and that's what you'll see me doing and so that explains what's happening there because if you go back and forth in the stripe hey look there's a customer right there I have permission to film this one by the way let me go talk to him I'll be right back okay so yeah this is a good customer to talk to really enjoy talking to this one when you're out here in the country you know like there since I've been here another car has not driven by and all the folks out here real friendly casual laid back and so you know you can relax when you're mowing out here but what I was saying about this you're gonna see me mowing all in one direction I think I'm gonna have the camera over here and I think these marbane blades are gonna throw the grass so far that it's gonna lay down nice oh yeah I was saying if you tried to stripe this if you tried to go back and forth or tried to mulch it up what happens is it doesn't mulch up it just kind of turns into a paste terrible paste that gets all stuck up in the mower deck and clumps up and makes a mess um, but if you mow it all the one direction and then just leave it there you will be fine so just wanted to explain what I was doing before everybody says why are you doing that anyway let's come over here to this ditch because I want to show that quick before I get started mowing. We've got a pretty good angle here. And when it's dry, you can see it's not dry. 
But when it's dry, I drop the tire all the way down to the bottom. I won't be doing that today. But you'll see me tilting pretty good. Uh, speaking of which, let's do that.
right, and here we go, all done. And those blades did very well. Uh, that was, I was mowing wide open. By the way, there will be a uh, real-time version of this. This, I think, that I was filming for over an hour. I've got to condense it into a, um, some kind of time lapse, and that's probably what you just watched. But, uh, trust me, there will be a real-time version, uh, however long it needs to be, I'll put it up. It just takes a while to, um, edit those as well. Go around back. And there's the back. I apologize for not filming all the weed whacking. It, I was running low on battery. I'm still running low on battery. Uh, but anyway, let me go over to that grass I was talking about. Okay, here's a patch of it right here. And I'll show you. Now those were brand new blades. And look at the way it just rips it right off the top. This type of grass is terrible. But those blades did help quite a bit making it uh, lay down nice. And all that thatch will be gone by tomorrow. We've got the storm is starting to roll in. And uh, that kind of beats it all down and makes it all disappear. Anyway, that wraps it up. I didn't even get stuck in the ditch. Appreciate you all watching. Um, stay tuned for the real-time version of this one. And uh, there's also another cleanup coming. And the Great Dane will be home soon. So, you know, stay tuned. Later, guys.